All right, so you have created a really cool StreamRate website. Have you ever thought about adding a donation button to your app? It's a fantastic way for people who really enjoy your app to support you. In this video, I will show you several ways to add donation buttons to your app. I am especially excited about the last method. In that part, we will embed a donation form directly within StreamRate. This means you can get donations directly in your app. So with that in mind, let's dive in. First things first, for the sake of this tutorial, I have created and deployed the following StreamLit app for you. In this app, I have included all the code examples, so you can just copy and paste the code from here. You will find the link to this website in the description box below. Okay, so to collect donations, I have personally used two websites. The first one is Buy Me A Coffee and the second one is Kofi. Both platforms allow people to support you through small donations, often represented as buying you a coffee. I've included the links to both platforms here. If you click on them, you will be redirected. Setting up your account on both platforms is pretty straightforward. I also looked up some videos for you which guide you through the setup process. You can find these videos also on the website. So once you have signed up and you have a username, let me show you how to include a buy me a coffee button in your app. The easiest way is actually to use the StreamNet Extra package which you can install by running pip install streamlit-extras. With that in place, you can import it as follows. Inside the button, you just need to input your username. Optionally, you can also use some additional parameters, which I have listed here. The floating effect is actually kind of cool. So when you enable it, the button sticks to the right lower corner, even if you scroll through the app. And when I click the button, I will be redirected to my buy me a coffee page. Optionally, you can also place the button inside the sidebar. But here you will notice a small issue. There is some white background around the button. So keep that in mind if you want to place the button on a background that is not white. Also up here, you can find the official documentation for the StreamNet Extra package if you want to learn more about it. Next up, instead of a button, you could also place a badge somewhere in your app. Again, we will use the StreamNet Extra package for that. This time, you just need to specify the type and username. So I think this might actually work much better in the sidebar as it doesn't take up that much space and also has no white background. Next up, let us have a look at the Kofi options. On a side note, I actually prefer Kofi because unlike Buy Me A Coffee, they do not charge a transaction fee because on Buy Me A Coffee, they have a 5% transaction fee in place. Okay, and with that said, let me click on the button. As before, we will be simply redirected to the Kofi page and this is how it looks like. Now to implement the button, log into your account. In the sidebar, navigate to buttons and widgets. Let's start with a simple image button. Just click here and then select image. You will see it's just a simple HTML link, which is using an image for the styling. Optionally, you can also select a different color. Next, you just need to copy this code to your clipboard and place it into a StreamNet Markdown element. Just make sure to set unsafe allow HTML to true. For a bit more fun, you can also include the following button. For that, just navigate back to Kofi and then select the button. Here, feel free to customize the button with a different label and color. This time, instead of an HTML anchor link, you will get a bit of JavaScript code. As before, just copy the code to your clipboard. To include the JavaScript code in your app, you want to import components from StreamNet. Inside the HTML component, you can then paste the code. Here you will notice that by default it comes also with a white padding, so keep that in mind. Alright, so far we have just inputted different buttons which are redirecting you to the Buy Me A Coffee or Kofi page. Now the last option is actually different. This time we will embed a donation form directly into StreamNet. So, for example, you could have a separate page where you can include this donation form. The visitor can then directly send you a donation without even leaving your website. So, to implement this, let's go back to Kofi. Here, you want to select the Kofi donation widget and go to the donation panel. You will see that this is actually an iframe. From the iframe, we just need the source URL. So, that is this part here. Back in StreamNet, you can now use the iframe elements from the components. Okay, and in the source, you want to paste the source URL. For the height, I will use 800 pixels, and as a result, you will get this donation form. Whoopsie, a quick editor note here. Of course, you could also use the new StreamNet page link button to link to your donation form. To use this function, make sure to upgrade to the latest StreamNet version. 
Now, if you click on this button, you will be redirected to my Ko-fi page. Okay, guys. And that is how you can collect donations in Streamlit. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.